Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 23rd to the 29th of May 2022. Uh, no particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. Uh, at the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deep over nine card spread as well as some oracles. Um, you can watch this for um, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or if any of those planets are currently transiting your fifth house. This could be for you. Cross watchers, you are welcome. And once again, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, to comments, all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. And the description box has all the information you need, links to Patreon for all the extended, um, Vimeo for the individual extended, Instagram for the photos of the spread, as well as my website link for private reads. Okay, Leo. No particular song um, this week in your pre-shuffle, however, the Eight of Cups kept flying out. So, usually indicates leaving behind something, could be anything, a job, a person, a trait, a characteristic, a vice, any, anything. Um, um, but now I've got um, Dua Lipa, uh, I won't say it out loud, I'll just say the I-D-G-A-F. Um, so whatever it is, you've, it is done, whatever you're walking away from. Okay. <laughs> the Eight of Cups. <laughs> yes, you're done. You've had enough of something and off you go. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Okay. Of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Hierophant, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Lovers. Okay. I almost feel like whatever's keeping you trapped is literally breaking free. Um, this could indicate kind of a phoenix rising moment. So, we've got the Eight of Cups, definitely walking away from something here. Possibly walking away from conflict, because what we're aware of is the Five of Swords. Incidentally, I've just done like a starseed reading for ca Cancer, and there's was in the exact same position was the Five of Swords. Um, this is being contained. I also... Somebody's trying to... Um, squeeze your freedom here. Um, this could be... It could be you, it could be a mental prison, it could be self-depreciating um, acts, it could be, um, you know, self-sabotage. But I kind of feel like it's, um, the 8-8 eight, eight portal is going to be very, very important for you guys. Um, it's in your sign, 8th eight, eight of the 8th. It's breaking free from something. I almost feel like it's going to um, reveal a lot. be somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet and now I'm getting an um, image here of you saying no not having it I am against that um, I, I'm not interested in it at the moment concentrating on my pentacles trying to rebuild you know what's uh, what was lost um, I don't think you're gonna have a choice I think something's coming in to sweep you off your feet because <laughs> we've got the five of swords for me, this could be a case of, like I told Cancer, um, 
rejection is your protection sometimes because in the recent past we have the eight of swords this is that being mentally trapped being physically um, bound in a relationship possibly what you're not aware of is the knight of cups and I'm, I'm very much getting something with the wave here somebody literally coming in to sweep you off your feet to bold you over you may have if you're single you may have dismissed ever having a partner again um, you might want to rethink uh, if you are if you are in a relationship and it's very very suffocating I think you're gonna break I think you're gonna let all hell loose and, uh, and break free because your advice is the fool brand new beginnings pack your bags you're going traveling you're going on an adventure um, this is giving something a go again this is having a, a rebirth of some kind to start your journey uh, in whatever direction it is you could have had a tough time of it with the five of pentacles here um, but I kind of feel like you're mastering the um, you're mastering the, the mountains these are all tough peaks you know where we've got um, we, we start a cycle and it's really tough we conquer it and then something brings us back down to earth but then we conquer the next one so you could have had your ups and downs is what I'm basically saying um, but incidentally I've, the way I've randomly placed the king of pentacles here just above the fool the fool is the first major arcana the king of pentacles is the last of the minor arcana arcana? arcana um, so we're going from one extreme to another here, we're going from the beginning to an end. Whatever the situation is, whether it be a vice of some kind, um, you're letting it go, and you're letting it go for good. You've had that term with it. This could be anything, overworking, um, uh, drink, drugs, whatever. Any, anything where you're doing it in excess could be let again, left behind here. If it's a relationship, you're done. It's like that Dua Lipa song that's in my head. You, whatever people, they may try and crawl back in, you, you're done, you know. I-D-E, I-D-A-G-F. Um, but the universe wants to provide you with a new beginning and then that leads to the Ace of Wands. This is new passions, new creativities. If this is an old job that's keeping you suffocated, you've had enough, you're done, you're leaving and um, you're going to start start your own enterprise with the King of Pentacles here. The uh, King of Pentacles is, is a business person, don't get caught up in genders, we all have masculine feminine energies, um, but the King of Pentacles is somebody that's um, wise, knows, knows business inside out, so you could be seeking knowledge from the King of Pentacles here. Um, but like I say, for some, for some I'm getting a very clear image here of somebody that's uh, had enough of disappointing uh, relationships in the past said to themselves no nope, I'm going to be single forever you, you may find uh, something triggers and there's a passion uh, uh, that awakens when somebody comes to sweep you off the feet could be somebody older with the king of pentacles here doesn't have to be uh, but yeah interesting I'm going to look for the devil because I'm kind of seeing a lot of you shifting away from um, you know, toxic things like I say toxic things can be anything people places um, vices you name it interesting we've got next to each other um, moon and justice so a new romantic cycle begins Where are we? come on devil where are you? The devil is wedged between the queen of swords and the nine of pentacles. Okay. Could be trapped in materialism. I kind of feel like it's been I'm getting toxic tongue syndrome here as well <laughs> so you may have uh, um, 
spoke your truth uh, somewhat recklessly in the past, um, uh, maybe causing conflicts. It, it, it doesn't matter. There's, there's just somebody out there. Um, but I kind of feel like you're seeing where that doesn't help matters anymore. Uh, it could be what kept you trapped. Um, but there's a big shift coming. There's brand new beginnings and new uh, passions coming. Um, but it means leaving behind something. And I kind of feel like come your birthday season, especially the 8-8 portal, there's going to be opportunities. Um, so prepare to be sweep, swept off your feet because uh, new passions are coming in. Okay, in your extended we're going to look at uh, what is coming in. Uh, we'll do a past, present, future aspect of it, positives about it, the negatives to watch out for. Because uh, everything has duality, um, you know, it's not all um, uh, shiny things. And uh, we'll look at next steps, uh, mind, body, soul, and we'll dive into some oracles as well. So you could be dealing with or having your charts. We have Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Scorpio, Hierophant. We've got wands, we've got cups, we've got swords, and we've got pentacles. Everybody's here, but those of you stand out. So Leo, if you can uh, join me, fantastic. If not, look after yourself, and I shall see you next week. Take care. Bye.